Welcome to Vault Coast Exotics. My name is Jason. You've probably never heard of me. So throughout my life, I've had multiple reptiles, invertebrate, you name it. I've had most of them. Um, but it's always been my dream to own my own little hobby business, uh, breeding reptiles. Um, and everybody that I have reached out to for advice have all told me the same thing. Within this industry, I need to create a YouTube or uh, Instagram, some sort of social media platform that I could build a relationship with in the industry so that I can build a level of trust. So I thought, what better way to do that than to document me growing this business and bring you guys along. But all that said, it is not my goal to become YouTube famous or make all this money off of YouTube. I simply just want to build a level of trust with future uh, clients, if you will. Uh, just so that you can see the animals that I produce and uh, better know who I am so that you trust purchasing animals from me. First thing to take into consideration when starting a business is creating a name and a logo. Now, in my opinion, this is the most important part because this is the first thing that a person sees. So it needs to identify well who you are and what you're trying to sell. Uh, for example, I also own a small construction company and initially I wanted to call it JT Renovations. But if somebody was looking to build a house, for example, and they saw my business card, uh, they weren't going to call me initially because they would assume that all I did was renovations. Um, so I later called my business Tustian Builders rather than JT Renovations, if that makes sense. So likewise, in the reptile industry, um, even though I am going to uh, set my uh, business up initially with breeding ball pythons, I don't want to um, call my business, for example, Bold Coast Ball Pythons because I don't want to limit myself to that. I would like to leave myself room to grow. So exotics, Bold Coast exotics works well. So now that we have established a business name and a logo that identifies who we are and what we're trying to sell well, the next thing to do is, before we buy the snakes, build something to keep them in. That's why we're here. So, bear me for a moment while I go pick up the product. Hey guys, so it's been a couple of days since I bought the materials for the racks. Um, I'm not going to go too into detail about how I'm going to build them. Uh, there are plenty of videos out there that are great that give instructions on how to build a rack system. There are a few things that I'm going to change, which I'll point out after the build. Um, I will point out some of the materials I'm going to use. Uh, we have the three quarter inch melamine. Um, the reason why I went with that is one, it's cheap. It was like 40 something bucks a sheet compared to the uh, PVC stuff, which is like 110, I believe. Um, and considering we're a small business, I don't want to invest too much money that I'm willing to lose, if that makes sense. We'll go into that in more detail later. Um, but obviously, I want to build the business up to the point where it will. Sunny dog. <laughs> where it will um, sustain itself. So I just want to. Uh, keep in mind of how much money I'm putting into this. So melamine is a great choice. Um, the three-quarter inch. Uh, it is rigid enough for it to, to hold together. Um, and obviously the material that it's made out of, melamine, is watertight to an extent. So we can get the humidity uh, that we need to within our rack system. Um, obviously I do have uh, the correct tools. Um, to build this but where i'm working by myself and this stuff is pretty heavy i'm just going to rely on my router and my skill saw as well as a level to make sure i'm doing perfectly straight lines as well so i'll go into a little bit more detail once this uh, build is complete so i just tried to record that in in whatever it is speed mode and uh it didn't work so anyway let me uh just spin this around a little bit Cut all my shelves 15 inches wide. And I forget what the length is. 
but this is the same size as our tubs, which I'll show you guys in a minute. Um, two sides. And then I have bottom and top, which are an inch, an inch and a half wider than the shells themselves. Um, because for structural integrity, you want your sides to sit on top of the bottom and you want the top to sit on top of your sides. And then the sandwich in between the two sides, okay, which I'll show you once it's built again. So um, I'm going to go ahead and router. Now a lot of guys I've seen router uh, their tape only on the shelves and around uh, over their edges. But I'm also going to route, route at the uh, sides as well, just so that the tape can go up and around and through. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Let me see if I can uh, get a video of that this time. Okay, really quick, I went with the Reptile Basics tubs, the 23 quart and the uh, 8 quart, I believe. Um, but the measurement on these for the length. 22 and a half, but I went 22 and three quarters just to give me a little bit of a lip. And the width is roughly 15. Now, the two eight quart together, um, side by side, so I can make these interchangeable, also measure 15. There are also the 23 long as well. So, Reptile Basics. Um, the shipping was cheaper and the tubs quality very very well made great to round out these pieces for the uh, heat tape I'm using a one inch double flute uh, router bit I'm gonna go about an eight, uh, an eighth of an inch deep <laughs> Everything's been routed out, the two sides, all the shelves, the top and the bottom. Now I've also made these jigs to help me uh, install the shelves correctly. Um, the tubs themselves are four and a quarter inches tall. I know. So these are four and three eighths tall. So it gives me an eighth of an inch of a gap above the tubs on each shelf, which should suffice for for uh, airflow for the snakes. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and assemble everything together and uh, we'll try one of those uh, time-lapse videos again. Come on. So just wanted to add that I've already soldered and wired up the heat tape. Um, as I build this, I mean, I put each shelf on, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put this on as I go. Now, I'm sure you guys have seen the videos, but keep in mind, you can only staple through the clear sections. Don't go through the black or the copper. We'll get some uh, fires. It wouldn't be good. finished other than the back but this is pretty heavy and I got to carry this up two flight of stairs so I'm gonna add that once I get upstairs um did my math wrong I'm about an eighth off somehow so this last that one doesn't quite fit so I'm gonna figure something out um, for that uh also I come up with an issue I don't know if you guys are familiar with this heat tape but it was all nice and smooth, all through here, and all of a sudden, this went crazy. So what I've done, if 
you guys can tell me what happened there or we try to get some tape so sort sort to go over the top so that at least it doesn't fetch up when the tubs go in so that'll be it for this video um sorry for the creepy basement vibes i do intend to finish a corner off here this winter so um but next week i'll be uploading a video we'll discuss snakes and uh, what i have coming in uh next wednesday so thanks for tuning in speak to you guys next